thanks for tuning in to this edition of Sports in This Week. I hope you've had a great weekend and a safe one. I'm sure a lot of football followers, um, soccer and uh, rugby league would be following very closely now that um, Digital is in the final series and of course mm. soccer is picking. So yeah. um, those are some things to watch out for. If you've had a not so interesting weekend and you're looking for something, soccer and uh, rugby league's keeping things busy and interesting at the moment. Lawrence, how was your week? Yeah, pretty good. Uh, I guess just the, the, the stop start. Well, not the stop start. We yeah. uh, Repentance Day uh, uh, to, uh, today as well. And so, you know, um, yeah. every, everyone sort of made sure that, uh, you know, we're home and be able to, you know, uh, not just remember the day, but um, really yeah. pray for our nation and, and, and you know, uh, be able to, to see into the future. But as you said, um, yeah, Rugby League, uh, Digital Cup uh, in its uh, business end of the season yeah. and the Kumu Petroleum Holdings um, uh, National Soccer League in Port Moresby and Leigh uh, still going on. They're just about to finish uh, round number one. Yeah, okay. so mm. before we get to the results from the weekend, coming up on the show tonight, we have Hunters again, Matthew Church joining us to talk about um, the long rest they've had because mm. of the lockdown, Very and now true. they're going into round 19 this weekend. And we have also the Team PNG Welcome Back event that we covered last week mm. on Thursday. We'll show a little bit of it. Of course, there were some um, interesting um, points highlighted there from the likes of the Chef de Mission, uh, Tamsin Wadley, and also the Sports Minister, Wesley Raminai. So that's that's coming up on the show, Lawrence. Before yeah. that, let's get on with the scoreline. Yeah, thanks, Denny. Yep, um, some interesting um, news there that we, we will have. But uh, now, if you missed uh, the scoreline, this is uh, how it shaped up uh, last week. Um, the storm after, uh, well, they were, they were down 10-0. Uh, with about 15 minutes in the game, ended up winning 34-20, uh, 19 in a row for them. Uh, sea Eagles, 19-18 uh, over the Raiders. Uh, Raiders led 12-0 uh, in this game as well, um, but he yeah, somehow lost. Uh, the Panthers, uh, 25 over the Rabbitohs, 12, and the Sharks, 70 points in total, 50 points to 20. And uh, the other matches, Newcastle Knights keep the finals eight uh, points alive, uh, eight uh, final eight uh, alive with a 22-16 uh, win over the Bulldogs. The Eels finally got uh, a win, 32-16. Uh, the Roosters there, 40 points to 22. Yeah, well, it was a, it was a good, good game. It was a close game. And there you go, right smack bang. Did you, did you purposely put that at the end? Oh, geez, look, they've already gone through. But Broncos won. <laughs> uh, my goodness. Um, this is the ladder so far. Uh, there's two more games uh, this weekend and next weekend. Storm in the lead. They win this weekend. They've got the minor premiership. Uh, yep. um, but uh, yeah, it looks like the, the... And then they'll beat the record of all records there. Um, this is the bottom eight. So Titans, Raiders still with a chance. Otherwise, everyone else there uh, will be doing the uh, Mad Monday come next week when they have the uh, final games. Warriors, Dragons, Tigers, Broncos. Just one up over the Cowboys. It's the... Uh, um, they're calling it, it's terrible, but they're calling it the Queensland uh, Wooden Spooner Race. Unbelievable, but, you know, at least we're above the Cowboys. That, that, okay, look, Papua New Guinea, uh, uh, we must concentrate on us. Uh, Vipers, my gosh, um, I thought they'd win, but um, they lost to the Wigmen, 20 points to 14. And Tumbe uh, beat the Rabal Gurriers, 18-8. So both uh, Wigmen and Tumbe uh, go through to the next round. Uh, unfortunately for the Gurriers and the Vipers, uh, they buy, bow out for season 2021. All right, so yeah, there's a, you know, you're all now up to date uh, with the latest uh, scores uh, from around uh, Papua New Guinea and, uh, of course, the NRL. Yes, of mm. course. So speaking of the Digital Cup, the yep. minor premieres, um, oh, Lace yeah. Snacks Tigers, mm. um, the shield they've just received is actually called a Don Fox Shield. Mm. Um, Lawrence, would you like to um, share a fair bit on um, sure. Don Fox himself? Yeah, yeah no, th uh, thanks very much. Uh, you, you know, uh, Lace Snacks Tigers have been bestowed the Don Fox Memorial um, Digital Cup minor premiership in the inaugural year of the conception of the uh, well, it, the initiation of the uh, honor of Don Fox, uh, recognizing his immense uh, contribution to rugby league in PNG as founding chairman of the Digital Cup 2005 right through to 2012. Uh, now the Tigers, uh, well, they also won the uh, premiership, the minor premiership. I'm sorry, um, but uh, on hand to receive the shield um, last week was veteran Tigers captain Enoch Sine, um, Kaupa alongside Tigers chairman uh, Joe Kramer and Lay Biscuit Company general manager. Uh, John Francis uh, Charles. All right, so that's about it. We'll go for a break now. On the other side, Lawrence speaks to Matthew Church. Stay with us.
All right, good night, uh, True Pop New Guinea. Welcome back uh, to Sports Scene right here on MTV. It is time now to talk uh, rugby league with uh, SPPNG Hunters head coach uh, Matthew Church joining us, of course, via Zoom tonight. All right, coach, uh, good night once again, and uh, again, welcome back on the show. Yeah, Lawrence, thanks for having me back on. It's excited to have some rugby league happening this weekend. Yeah, well, man, what a, what a wait, huh? Uh, 29th of August, uh, which is this Sunday, and uh, our boys are playing against uh, the Magpies, yeah? Yes, yes, against our slogan. That's going to be a pretty interesting game. Um, we didn't have a good run with them uh, earlier on this year, but um, how are the boys uh, preparing for this game? Yeah, we've been preparing well. Um, I think we're all excited to get back and play some rugby league this weekend. So, um, yeah, they'll be all itching. We haven't uh, trained as a team yet. We'll do that tomorrow. Um, just with the Sunday game, so we're training sure, tomorrow sure. as a team, and uh, you know we're looking all looking forward and excited to be back back out and playing some footy. Uh, the South Magpie uh, Logan uh, team uh, will that be um, the the NRL um, players also joining that, or um, it'll be pretty much uh, just just the outside squad? No, I think uh, the scare a couple of weeks ago with the. Um, uh, when we, our Wyndham game got cancelled, I think that put a bit of a scare in the NRL. So um, I think they've all gone into bubbles, basically, um, and they'll remain that way until the NRL season finishes. So we should come up against a team that has no NRL players in it. Okay. Uh, the Magpie is sitting on 7th. Uh, we are sitting on 10th. Um, where do you think um, we'll, we'll be able to focus on uh, in order for us to, to get the big win this weekend? Yeah, they were pretty comprehensive in being us. Um, it was a pretty tight game until about the 55th minute. I think Jakarta Bure scored and you know, put us about 10 points away and then they just kicked away with three tries from from kicks. So that's certainly something we need to make sure that we're on mm-hmm. to this time is uh, watching their kicking game. They, they were really, well, um, really good at that. They played well through the middle as well, so we'll have to match them through the middle um, defensively. Um, yeah, they like to play a lot of shape through the middle, so we need to make sure that we're numbering up and getting our numbers right with our defensive splits. Mm. Now, you said that in the middle there. Um, what's our playing roster like? Um, we've got all the boys back on deck or uh, still a couple more uh, that we're waiting for? Yeah, I haven't named this, this idea. I'm doing that later this afternoon. Uh, but uh, we, we have a fair complement of players. Um, most of the guys are fully fit. Appel Capinius is back. Um, unfortunately, Brennan Gattuno re-injured his uh, hamstring last week, so he's probably still a couple of weeks away. Um, but outside of that, everyone else is, is, is reasonably fit and should be um, ready for the game on Sunday. Well, finally, yeah, you, you have a nice uh, headache to try and name a, um, a, good, uh, a good team list for, for this weekend. Yeah, exactly. It's, uh, it's something you look forward to as a coach, and unfortunately we haven't had that luxury of having everyone close to fully fit. Um, yeah. Actually, sorry, one thing I didn't mention there, Kevin Appo won't, won't be playing for the rest of the season. He's had to go have a clean out of a, uh, an infection in his leg. Uh, it's something that he had as a kid, and it's uh, we've, we've got a reoccurrence of it, so um, that'll probably rule him out for the rest yeah. of the season. So a bit unfortunate there for Kevin, and uh, you know, being our vice captain, he brings a lot to our side. So there's one little thing that we probably have to adjust to, but... Um, yeah, otherwise everyone else is, is, is should be ready to go. All right, no worries, uh, Church. I think that's that's pretty much it. Very good to hear that uh, Appel is uh, coming back. Uh, but in terms of your spine, um, just the one, uh, six, seven, and nine, you, you'll go pretty much with the same boys there. Yeah, yeah. Terry, Terry's back now to full fitness, so yeah. he'll uh, he'll remain at one. If and Charlie through the through the halves have, have probably steadied our performance a, a fair bit, um, given that they are the most experienced halves. And then watovo has been just outstanding. He's probably been one of our form forwards of the of the year without probably getting the recognition that he deserves. He does a lot of work keeping us tight through the middle. And with with Edwin getting injured a couple of times or suspended, we've had to probably extend Watovo's minutes more than we would like. So um yeah, so we'll just keep that spine as that. Awesome. Thanks uh, so much for that uh coach. Uh, again uh, best of luck this weekend and um, we'll catch up with you next week. No worries Lawrence thanks for having me on once again. All right, there we go. That's uh, Coach Church uh, via Zoom talking about the SPPNG Hunters. Uh, they take on the Magpies this Sunday, the 29th of August at Bycroft Oval. We'll take a short time out now and we'll be back with more on Sports Scene.
Welcome back. You're watching Sports Scene. Now, last Thursday, we had a pleasure of attending the Team PNG Welcome Back um, event. Um, team PNG, the team that went to Tokyo, um, they had a welcome reception for mm. them at um, the Royal Papua Yacht Club last Thursday. Um, a lot of people in attendance, including um, the sports minister and members of the PNGOC, as well as all the athletes that went. Yep. Well, seven of them, excluding seven. Ryan Masklin, um, our swimmer there, who actually returned to Brisbane. So they've just come out of quarantine. So that was why it was held last Thursday. Um, Lawrence, mm. a lot of, um, a lot of, um, from the speeches, mm. there's a lot of things that were highlighted. Yeah. Um, let's let's um, look at um, what Rally Kapitina has to say. She um, represented the athletes. It was because of the support of you all, our sponsors and supporters, that we are able to attend the Olympic Games, even with the COVID-19 pandemic. Due to this pandemic, these games was different to others. See the Games Village and our home competition venues. We could not watch and cheer for our other teammates, but we got through. Competing against the world's best, I am proud to say we did our best. That was really Kapitin, our long jumper, and um, well, now Olympian. She This yeah. is her first Olympics. So well done to her and the rest of the team. Let's listen now to Tamsin Wadley. Um, she raised a very important um, point there mm. um, about how the so kind of support they've been receiving. Um, it came in the 11th hour and it could have made a lot of difference if it had come earlier. So let's mm. have a listen. I am not going to dwell tonight on the what ifs and how to move forward as this is a subject for another time. I do take this opportunity, however, to remind our wonderful athletes that the commentators on social media in the whole have absolutely no idea what they're talking about. And you should focus on the real feedback that you receive from those you know and who understand your journey. Thank you. To the PNG government, it's your choice. If you want our country to deliver sport at the very top levels, then you have to be serious about supporting our elite athletes and the programs that help create them. Providing funding a month out before departure does us no good at all in building performance. Yes, it helps pay the bills so the Olympic Committee is not in debt going forward. But athlete and coach support must be consistent, it must be constant, and it must be targeted. I acknowledge the announcement of funding from Kumul Consolidated Holdings and can only hope that this will become an ongoing annual support so that the incredible team at the PNG Olympic Committee can design actual programs that will make a difference, similar to the highly successful lead up to the 2015 Pacific Games. Well, there you go, that's uh, Tams and Wardley, uh, Chef de Mission to the um, Tokyo Olympics there and some, some challenging words. Um, um, I just got to be very careful in, in the words I use, but um, yeah, very challenging. Um, she said she was, uh, she acknowledged the sponsors and of course uh, the, the government coming in in the 11th hour, um, but um, asked if we could give consistently and you know, a bit more planning uh, towards that so we can get probably more athletes to go. And um, also, as we have been talking about last couple of weeks, and probably even produce quality, quality, quality yeah. uh, athletes as well. But not taking nothing away from the from the eight uh, that went who did really well yeah. um, for us. Now, um, let's now take a look at Sir John Downing Cook. We have a vision to win a medal in the Olympic Games. We've uh, been successful in the Pacific Games as well as Commonwealth Games. Now, uh, our vision is to win a medal in the uh, Olympic Games and. Uh, it's not a, uh, as easy as it, uh, obviously it's very, very difficult uh, because uh, I believe that uh, you need to spend some uh, uh, eight years or 10,000 hours of training before you uh, step onto the podium of the uh, Olympic Games. But uh, we will keep on trying to ensure that we do achieve our vision. We will hear later on from uh, Thames and Wadley, Chef the Mission. Uh, on the performance uh, of our Team PNG and the experiences they shared at the Olympic Games. I would like to take this time to congratulate our athletes 
and I mean it, mean it in all sincerity because of the sacrifices that I had to make. Um, they uh, trained to peak in 2020, uh, and the games were uh, deferred by 12 months. For some, it was uh, another uh, or extra time to uh, uh, hone their uh, skills to we, we to represent us. Uh, obviously, our uh, vision is to win a medal, so they did do their best to win and uh, uh, win a medal. Uh, but we congratulate them for being our champions and being our Olympians in doing their very, very best to represent PNG. So once more, I'd like to congratulate our athletes and officials for uh, uh, not only being Olympians, but they are our champions. So John Downing-Kura, the uh, president of the uh, PNG Olympic Committee, and uh, his words there, uh, Denny, uh, we have a vision and uh, we need to win the goal. Well, I'll tell you what, we need to win the gold in the next next Olympics. We, yeah. we must. We must do so. Um, at least a medal. At least a medal. At least a medal uh, for that matter. Now, um, to, to end it off, um, we have the Sports Minister, uh, Honorable Wesley Raminai, who said a few words as well. Thanks for representing PNG at these games, which is the pinnacle of all sports. The sacrifice you have made, the hardships you have encountered, the obstacles you have had to overcome to get to the Olympic itself, it's a true testament of being resilient. For these games, the COVID pandemic changed its entire landscape in relation to having no spectators in attendance. So the world sporting fraternity had to adapt to competing without spectators and within the sanctioned new rules to mitigate the risk against the spread of this deadly uh, pandemic. Well done and congratulations for coming this far to the Team PNG and making your presence felt at these games, edging closer to realizing our vision of an Olympic medal in the future. Our uh, Pacific neighbor Fiji have done it and that is enough motivation for us to reach that milestone together as a nation. The determination, the perseverance, sacrifices you have all displayed must continue in this collective journey beyond Tokyo 2020 as we focus on the Commonwealth Games in Birmingham next year. And also our mini South Pacific Games in Saipan and the Pacific Games in 2023 in Solomons. The government's intent is now clearly realized and captured in the new sports uh, policy to build a pathway for inclusive sports participation, nature excellence, race standards and sustained competitive edge over other uh, nations. Honorable Wesley uh, Ramanai, the sports minister uh, at the Team PNG Farewell. Um, the Olympic Games uh, did finish uh, two weeks ago, August 8th, um, but uh, the team came back from quarantine and uh, it was the, well, they were out for a couple of days and then the, uh, the farewell there. But uh, yeah, to start it off, didn't he? I mean, um, Tamsin, the chef de mission, had some very yeah. challenging words to the government. Um, they got a lot of support, uh, as, as the uh, president of PNG Olympic Committee, Sir John Downey Kura, said uh, from the Australian government as well. Yeah. Um, so, you know, the onus is, is, is really on uh, the Papua New Guinea government uh, to ensure that, uh, you know, we give that consistent uh, funding to ensure that uh, we get our athletes fully prepared. Yeah. We know it's going to come every four years, you exactly. know, the Olympics. So, exactly. Yeah. And the 11th hour um, support that comes yeah. in, uh, like Tamsin rightfully said, mm. it may pay the bills, mm. but that's all it can do. Yeah. You know, if you're going to produce quality performance, quality athletes, mm. you need to nurture it. Yeah, I mean, good, good challenge to all. Uh, but on the flip side, um, you, you see, uh, I'm sure the Fiji government did um, assist uh, the, the Fiji rugby yeah. uh, and also the Australian government, I, I, I know as well, yeah. uh, supported uh, the Fiji uh, team. Um, but that was a fully homegrown team, you know. Yeah. So on that flip side, then you say then OK, well, they did it at home in Fiji exactly. and, and, and went and won the goal. Um, so, you know, there's two sides to it and we just need to find a balance in order to get that uh, medal come next Olympic Games. 
All right. With, with that being said, um, if you want to contribute to this discussion, um, mm -hmm. you can always um, go onto our Facebook page um, and leave your thoughts there. For now, we'll go for a break and we'll wrap things up when we come back. Stay with us. Welcome back. You're watching Sports In. Time's caught up with us, so I'll just leave it to Lawrence mm -hmm. to run through what's coming up this weekend. Yeah, thanks, Denny. Let's uh, run straight through to the uh, weekend preview. And uh, first of all, to, uh, the, the Rugby League, Titans versus Knights. This is the battle for top eight. Uh, whoever wins that, that stays in the top eight. Whoever doesn't, um, unfortunately, will uh, we'll, we'll live to fight another week. Uh, Raiders versus Warriors, another top eight one here. Um, but uh, I think they're just a bit uh, down. They won't be able to make it. Another big game here, top four uh, game, Roosters v Rabbitohs. Um, to, to round up the, the Friday night games. Now, uh, Saturday, Dragons versus the Cowboys. Um, another tight one there. Sharks versus the Broncos. Uh, this should be an interesting game. And the Eels um, will take on the Storms. They, and the Eels won uh, their first game after four losses last week. It'll be very hard to beat the Storms, I reckon. Uh, sea Eagles versus the Bulldogs. It'll be uh, probably an easy win uh, for, the, for the Sea Eagles. And the Panthers, I think, are, are going to be just... Uh, too strong and will hold on for that second spot on the ladder against the West Tigers. Yeah, the Interest Super Cup, it is back on after a month. Winner Man Manly Se Seagulls versus the Falcons, Bears versus Ipswich Jets and um, the Northern Pride there uh, against uh, the Seagulls. That's on Saturday uh, the 28th and uh, the other games played, uh, Mackay Carters versus Townsville Blackhawks and Redcliffe Dolphins versus the Tigers on Saturday as well. Our boys, uh, as uh, we spoke about earlier on uh, this, th uh, this evening, Hunters versus the Magpies, uh, we should be able to win, even though we're on 10th spot and the Magpies on 7th, we should be able to win this game. And the Capris versus the Devils round up um, all the games for the Queensland Intra Super Cup. Now, um, as we said, the business end of the season for the 2021 Digital Cup Final Series, um, the Tigers uh, versus the um, Morocks. Now, the winner of this goes to the grand final. The loser uh, will play Wigman and uh, Tumbe. The winner of Wigman and Tumbe. Um, the loser will, will bow, bow out. Um, and so those are the two games that will be played uh, this Sunday. So the Wigman Tumbe is an elimination final, um, while uh, I'm sorry, uh, sorry, a minor semi final while the Tigers and the Morocks is a major semi-final. Again, the winner of that to the grand final, uh, the loser will play the winner of Wigman to, uh, versus Tumbe. So that uh, is the roundup of the Digital Cup. And very quickly as well, uh, last week, Saturday, uh, we, we signed an agreement, MTV signed an agreement with the PNG Football Association. Uh, we'll start broadcasting the Como Petroleum Holdings National Soccer League uh, as of the um, 18th of September. So really looking forward to uh, broadcasting the NSO. Denny, that's it. All right, you. that's about it. Um, all the best to all the teams in mm. um, the, the Digital Cup. And um, please do tune into MTV and follow the National Soccer League starting next month. That's about it for tonight. If yep. there's nothing else, we will end things here. Yeah, um, uh, very quickly, of course, uh, do contact us. Um, if, you, if you do have any story tips or, you know, you want to be able to, uh, you know, showcase your association, 312-9200. Uh, Otherwise, you can Facebook us um, at our Sports uh, Scene Facebook page or email us sports at mtv.com.pg. All right. So hmm. the other number to call as well, 312-9229. If you can't get through to the first number, you can always try the second one. It's a direct line to us. So do call us, leave your story tip, and please like our page and send <laughs> us those short stories if you can. That's about it for tonight, ladies and gentlemen. We will see you same time, same place next week. Bye for now. Good night.